वेलकम टू एस वाई बी एस सी केमिस्ट्री क्लास दिस इज मीनाक्षी दिलीप बिरारी वर्किंग एज असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन केमिस्ट्री एट मराठा विद्या प्रसारक समाज नासिक टुडे इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर लेक्चर आय वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस द फर्स्ट चॅप्टर दॅट इज केमिकल कायनेटिक्स इन प्रिवियस लेक्चर वी हॅव सीन द ओव्हरऑल सिलेबस ऑफ एस वाय बी एस सी केमिस्ट्री नाव इन टुडेज लेक्चर आय एम गोइंग टू डील विथ introduction to kinetics for sybsc there are two theory courses and one practical course for each semester for this semester i am going to teach you the course ch301 physical and analytical chemistry for this course two credits and 36 lectures are allotted for semester 3 semester 3 the course ch301 physical and analytical chemistry contains total 4 chapters out of these section 1 physical chemistry having 2 chapters chemical kinetics and surface chemistry and section 2 that is analytical chemistry having 2 chapters errors in quantitative analysis and volumetric analysis So these are total four chapters in course CH three zero one for semester three. Now let us start the section first, physical chemistry, and first chapter of physical chemistry that is chemical kinetics. Chemical kinetics it includes the various topics. These are introduction to kinetics, the rates of chemical reactions. definition of rates rate laws and rate constants reaction order and molecularity determination of rate law factors affecting reaction rates integrated rate laws zeroth order reactions first order reactions methods for determination order of reactions arrhenius equation temperature dependence of reaction rates interpretation of arrhenius parameters reaction dynamics collision theory and transition state theory of bimolecular reactions comparison of the two theories and problems or numericals related to these topics now we shall discuss all these topics one by one in detail now let us start the introduction to chemical kinetics the word kinetics is derived from the greek word kinesis meaning movement kinesis which is having the meaning movement chemical kinetics and chemical thermodynamics both terms are important to understand and predict behavior of a chemical system one must consider both chemical thermodynamics and chemical kinetics now in chemical thermodynamics the interest is centered around the spontaneity of a chemical reaction and the extent to which the reaction occurs the spontaneity of a chemical reaction is decided by decrease or increase of free energy of the system that is of reactants and products if the free energy change that is delta g is negative the reaction is spontaneous and if the delta g that is free energy change is positive then the reaction is non spontaneous so factors to be considered when predicting whether or not a change will not take place so gives free energy change that is delta g and entropy change that is delta s both are related thermodynamics whereas the rate or the speed of the change is related to kinetics so kinetics it is nothing but the greek word kinesis meaning movement thermodynamics considers only the energy relations between reactants and products of a reaction 
thermodynamic considers the energy relations of reactant and product of the reaction and it is possible to predict whether the reaction will take place or not it does not indicate the stage through which the reactant may have to pass to reach the final product it tells whether the given change is possible or not it tells the position of the equilibrium but does not the rate at which the equilibrium is attained and the mechanism of the reaction so thermodynamics does not give the information about the mechanism of the reaction also it does not show, consider the rate at which the equilibrium is attained but it does not predict the rapidity of reaction that means the thermodynamics does not predict the rapidity or speed of reaction hence it is necessary to study chemical kinetics so chemical kinetics is related with the study of rates of reaction it predicts the some reactions are fast or some reactions are slow the change in reaction or the speed of reaction it is given by chemical kinetics it studies the rate at which chemical process occurs besides this information about the speed the chemical kinetics also sheds on the light on the reaction mechanism kinetics also sheds the light on the reaction mechanism that means exactly how the reaction occurs now how we can define chemical kinetics so simply it is a branch of physical chemistry which deals with the study of rates and its mechanism of reaction chemical kinetics it is nothing but the branch of physical chemistry which deals with the study of rates and its mechanism of reaction that is the definition of chemical kinetics in chemical kinetics we will see these term, terms reaction rates how we measure the rates rate loss how the rate depends on amounts of reactants integrated rate loss how to calculate amount left or time to reach a given amount half life how long it takes to react 50% of reactants arrhenius equation how rate constant changes with temperature mechanism link between rate and molecular scale processes that is the outline related to kinetics so chemical kinetics deals with the rates of chemical reactions that is how fast a chemical reaction occurs such studies also help to understand the mechanism through which the reactants are converted to product it is observed that some reactions occur within a fraction of a second whereas some reaction take years together for completion so chemical kinetics gives the information that some reactions are fast and some reactions are slow so rapidity of reaction it is given by chemical kinetics simply chemical kinetics deals with the rates of chemical reaction that is how fast a chemical reaction occurs so chemical change we can take few examples related to chemical change consider the following chemical changes which occur at different speeds so first of all rusting of iron that is well known example rusting of iron it is a very slow reaction and it may take uh, days to months or years together to undergo complete change rusting of iron that may take days months or years together to undergo the complete change second example that is digestion of food it is a reaction with medium speed usually the food is digested in 3 to 4 hours time the third example that is the formation of a white precipitate of silver chloride that is precipitate of agcl when agno3 is added into the aqueous solution of chloride ions that is cl minus precipitate of agcl occurs in a fraction of a second so already we have studied 
that chemical kinetics it is related to rapidity of a reaction it gives how the reaction is faster or how the reaction is slow so that means by considering the chemical changes we get that different reactions occur at different speeds the rusting of iron it take days to months or years together to undergo complete change whereas for digestion of food it requires 3 to 4 hours and for the formation of a white precipitate of silver chloride formation of agcl it requires in a fraction of second the precipitate is formed so the these are nothing but the various chemical changes which occurs at different speeds the study of chemical kinetics deals with the qualitative and quantitative study of the rates of reaction the factors affecting rate of reaction the mechanism of reactions it also explains why some of the thermodynamically feasible reactions occur slowly or do not occur unless initiated by applying suitable conditions so along with feasibility and extent it is equally important to know the rate and the factors controlling the rate of chemical reaction for its complete understanding so for example burning of wood is a spontaneous or feasible process according to thermodynamic laws but wood cannot burn itself it starts burning only after igniting it so that study of chemical kinetics it is related to qualitative and quantitative study of rates of reaction factors affecting rate of reaction and the mechanism of reactions so all these topics are related to introduction to kinetics we will see the next topic that is rate of reaction factors affecting rate of reaction and the mechanism of reactions in detail in next lecture thank you